the channel and welcome to Ninth Dawn 3, Shadow of Earthteal. This is a top-down, in-depth RPG that has a lot to do with uh, monster taming. This came out of nowhere. I think it's like, uh, I don't know, $15.99 or something like that on uh, PlayStation. But uh, this is the third in a series of games I have never played before, so fun stuff. Uh, now, as far as this particular game is concerned, uh, I played for, uh, I don't know, maybe half an hour earlier uh, just to, you know, get the controls down, see what it's all about, see if I'd be interested in covering it for you guys. And uh, I gotta say, yes, I am interested in covering it for you guys. Uh, it's pretty, pretty neato so far. Um, very, 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 uh, you know, low poly in terms of the... Uh, visuals and aesthetic and all that but uh i i think it's definitely got something that a lot of people might like um we'll go ahead and continue with this okay so let's get into this so i mentioned monster taming earlier <clears throat> one of the big things with this is uh the ability to tame monsters apparently there's over 250 or 270 monsters or something like that in the game um it's gonna be very interesting so I've, uh, as I stated earlier, I've already played uh, a little bit of this. I basically got through the tutorial and um, did all that. But uh, hey, let's uh, go through the tutorial now. Read the sign. Ahead lies two chests. Open them to browse their contents. Drag items from the chests to your inventory to claim them. Take a weapon. Take another weapon. Take everything. Right, so we'll go ahead and open this and we will take all this stuff. We've got a wooden axe, a wooden shiv, and some gold. Gold will be very important later on. Take all this stuff. Sweet. Okay, so... You can actually dual wield in this game. Um, what I was doing earlier with this, though, was uh, actually using magic. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that. Because magic's pretty good in this game. Gotta say... Let me put all this stuff on. Uh, and we'll use, I guess, the wooden shiv for now. I would like a auto-sort button that is easier to get to without having to push all these buttons to get down to the auto-sort, but uh, hey, it is what it is. So the combat in this game is very, very simplistic. All you do is just point the right stick in any general direction, and you will automatically attack in that direction. So we will uh, keep moving on. Tutorial number two. Open your inventory and navigate your cursor to a weapon. From here, you can equip a weapon. I already did that. So, we're going to skip through a lot of this stuff. Seeker, what's up? Never heard of this game before, but looks kind of like, or uh, looks like your kind of game. Seeker, it's uh, it's pretty cool so far. It's simplistic in terms of uh, the gameplay, but uh, it's, it's pretty in-depth when it comes to your abilities, your skills, your awards, how you learn things. It's similar to something like Skyrim in terms of uh, your abilities and how you learn things. Um, based around the more you do a specific thing, the better at it you will get. So we've obviously got our equipment, which there is a lot of equipment if you hadn't already picked up on that. Um, we can also check out our attributes. They've got, you know, the five basic ones. Strength, dexterity, endurance, intelligence, and wisdom. Hello, scary rat. You are dead. Okay, so that actually leveled us up. Uh, so we can go ahead and put some points through. I'm thinking I want to use a lot of magic. So we're going to go primarily with wisdom and intelligence. Uh... But before that, we should check... Yeah, that's a lot of equipment. It's a lot of equipment, Seeker. Um, I played for, like, maybe half an hour, an hour earlier, and I only filled out, like, a few slots. Uh, right, so, these are our skills. These show you how good you are with any particular thing. We are at plus one with dagger, because we are using a dagger in addition to our magical staff, which we gained one into that. There's all sorts of other stats for it. Defense cooking like there's a lot of crafting too cooking fishing mining smelting jewel smithing weapon smithing armor smithing magic weaving alchemy uh and then this is the the capture part that deals with creatures we'll get a little bit into that once we make it to town um i probably will not be able to capture any monsters uh this early on because 
it is very dependent on money starting out, so it's not uh, it's not an early game thing, uh, at least that I've found. There might be some places that I could find or stuff like that. Um, so here are our abilities. It goes down a pretty standard skill tree that uh, are based around unlocking certain thresholds so that you can spend your points and put them towards other things and all that. Uh, I am going to be a uh, seeker. I like this system. Lots of skills they grow by actually doing. Yes, I'm also a fan of doing that. Um, I think that uh, getting your skills better by learning them uh, through usage is, is far superior to just, you know, allocating points. But uh, speaking of points, uh, we do have those, so we will also be doing those as well. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and first off do, uh, do regen. So we need 15 wisdom for that, and then we need ability coins. Ability coins are things we find in dungeons in the world. Um, and, I don't know, maybe we get them from quest rewards? I, I do not know. But uh, anyway, we will continue on doing what we were doing, and you guys will pick up everything as we go. Alright, what lies ahead are some recovery items. You can bind everything to your equipment as you see fit. So you open your inventory. Hover over the icon, or the, the thing that you want to uh, put in any given slot. Hold down either L2 or R2, that will bring up your menu. And then you can just press the corresponding button and bingo, bango, bongo, you, uh, you got it. Pretty easy. It's always a good idea to destroy all these things, because we can all, we can use all of these things. actually okay so this is the blood spawn a blood spawn use this to bind your soul to the blood that forever runs should you perish you may be torn from the claws of death and be respawned here upon death you will lose some experience points death is best avoided blood spawns exist all over the world be sure to use them wisely so these are just they're checkpoints if i die i'll respawn there after i lose some experience so on and so forth we're gonna head back this way a bit I can't remember. Okay, yeah, we can't access that yet. That's something later on. There's a little lever you have to pull, and then it opens the bars. Yippee skippy. Uh, since we're using magic, we'll actually be able to take out some stuff that we might not otherwise be able to deal with. But, uh, hey, we'll be okay. Okay, so this is one of those ability coins that I was talking about that you can find. Found an ability coin. You can use this to unlock new spells and abilities in the abilities menu. Yes. So, in our abilities menu, using the abilities menu, you can unlock different spells and abilities. You can navigate to other pages to view blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to want uh, probably regen, but we are going to need more ability coins. You can see how much it takes to unlock any given thing. So, you want to you wanna save them for the abilities that you actually want to use. Um, who knows, maybe... Maybe I'll go into creature capture and figure that out. Yeah, these are the, uh, the passive things. Health, physical attack power, physical defense. Uh, we're not going to spend our ability point right now. You want to be somewhat choosy with what you, uh, what you pick. Because, yeah, I've only found, I don't know, a few of them. Zans, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Have you been messing about in the sewers again? No. What? Well, don't lie to me. I just saw you come out that door, and I had already checked that room. You must have come from the sewers. Whatever. Ginril is looking for you. Follow me. All right. Uh, there are some choices you can make in dialogue that are not for the best, uh, but you can find out in a lot of those on your own. Right. Kinril, I brought sands for you. Ah, there you are. Where have you been hiding away to? I've just been training. Flynn said you wanted to speak with me. Ah, yes. Uh, what was it now? Ah, yes. I received word from our neighboring village, Ferlun. 
The village elder at Verloon has asked me to provide her with a soldier for a mission. A soldier? Ah, of course, a soldier. There's been some rumors about ghosts or something peculiar like that, and they're raising a party to investigate this ghost talk. It comes at a very strange time where monsters are seemingly running wild these days. As such, all of our soldiers have been put on permanent guard duty to protect us. This may come as a shock, but you are all I can spare at this moment. I must send you, Zans. Of course I'll go. Ah, that commitment, Zans, that is exactly why I chose you. Andrew didn't have a choice. I knew that you would take it in your stride to help us. Woohoo, yeah, Zans. Make your way to Ferloon and speak with Esteline. Tell her that I sent you. To get to Ferloon, head north out of our village and then follow the path northwest until you get there. Very well, I will head to Ferloon and talk to Esteline. Ah, great. Here, have some coin to buy yourself some supplies. Make sure you get some food before you leave. Take your time to explore. Perhaps you will find things that will help you on your journey. I'm sure Esteline will understand if you're late. Sweet. Alright, so we're not going to immediately set off. Uh, oh yeah, all this stuff in here, you can destroy all of this. And it is advised that you do so. Not only will you get some some money here and there, but uh, you'll also get crafting supplies that you'll need later on. So, you might as well take a little bit of time to grab some of this stuff. Alright, now some of these people that are uh, actually in here are uh, workers. They work inside these places, like uh, this is the alchemy shop. It opens in an hour. We'll just kind of run around. Grab some stuff first. Those bandages will come in handy eventually. Once we fight some things. They're foddy. Hi, foddy. Okay, so if you want to know how to go about capturing things, monsters and whatnot, uh, you actually have to talk to uh, this guy. He's outside of the sign. This everything crawly place. Um, <clears throat> Welcome to the creature shop. How can I help you? So we'll just go through the little tutorial thing that he says. Well, you want to learn how to capture creatures? You've come to the right place. It's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. Step one, acquire bait items. You can purchase some from myself or find them around the world. You also need to get some snare trap items, which I also sell. Step two, use bait items from your inventory, which will place the bait on the ground. Lure enemies into the bait by making them follow you. The more bait they consume and the higher tier bait you use, the sooner you can capture them. Once you see a lot of red hearts coming from the creature, they may be able to be captured. Some creatures require bigger bait than others, and success rates depend on your creature capture skill. Step 3. Place a snare trap item when you see plenty of red hearts coming from the creature. Lure creatures into this snare trap by making them follow you. If your trap was successful, the creature will become pacified and will stop attacking you. It will begin wandering around aimlessly. Step 4. Approach the pacified creature and interact with it. Congratulations! You should have captured your very own creature. Notes, your creature skills affect the capturing and raising of your creatures. Capturing and using creatures in your party gradually increase your skills. Always try to earn skill experience whenever possible. You can store a large number of creatures in your storage menu. You can manage which creatures to have out fighting alongside you. You can also rename and view creature stats in the creature menu. To view the creature menu, open the regular player menu and navigate to the relevant page. Sorry, what was I saying about menus? I'm not sure what I was talking about there. This is the basics of creature capturing. Best of luck. Thank you. Okay, so, uh... Here's the thing, though. Um, it's all good and well, but his stuff costs a lot, especially starting off. Um, I might do that this episode. Um, you can sell a lot of this stuff that you found if you don't plan on using it, and that can give you some amount of currency um, but you're not gonna you're not gonna really get a whole lot just yet um, but we'll, we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll we'll do all this a little bit later not that big a deal but uh, we are going to do some quests or try to anyway hi right, feel free to look around no he doesn't have a quest okay you have a quest I know Fadi does. Please don't call me Foodie. Okay, so if you call him Foodie, um, he will actually make it so that everything that he sells is twice the value. It's 
Not recommended. Anyway, I need some special ingredients to try to make a new dish. I had secretly stashed some away downstairs in Ashwick sewer, but for some reason there is now a gate blocking access to the storage. Uh, seeker, I'd focus on creature capturing when you start needing some help in combat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's one of those things like the more the more you do it, obviously the better it's gonna be for you in the long run. Um, he's he's just saying, yeah, go go talk to the go talk to Medium John over in the over in the uh, the tavern. So we're gonna go talk to Medium John and go down there and see what we can find. Hey there, you wanted my tavern, eh? I can't serve my food or drink yet, kid. Medium John's got medium problems. All right, so uh, making a meal. What you wanna get into Ashwick sewer? What you want to go down there for? Fadi told me to go down there to get his special ingredients because he can't get them from his side. Ah, Fadi said that. Who in Don's name is Fadi? Oh, you mean Foodie, that kitchen bloke. Yeah, I think his name is Fadi, though. Oh, yeah, that Foodie's a good one. Yeah, no problem, though. You can get into Ashwick's sewer from here. Here's a key to the sewer. You can get there through that door next to me. Be careful, though. There's a rat down there. I saw it. Don't get bit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Thanks, Medium John. I'll be careful. All right, so he gave us a key, so we'll go ahead and head on through here. Apologies for the terrible, terrible accent. <laughs> All right, so there's a level. That's good. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we want to go ahead and put this in our wisdom, I believe. That's what our spell needed. Yeah, 15 points into wisdom, so we'll go ahead and do that. Ta da There we go. Uh, now, what wisdom does is uh, it gives you more increases to your mana and your attack with magical staves. So. Alright, so we'll just kind of rush through here and kill everything and anything. And there is an ability coin up there, but unfortunately, we can't get it yet, and I don't know how to get it. So, here's our special ingredients. Take all this stuff. Water is very important. Uh, keep it whenever you get it. It's useful for a lot of crafting. Eventually, whenever I get around to trying to uh, capture some critters here, a rat is probably is probably going to be the first thing I try to go for. I would imagine. I mean, a rat would be pretty easy, right? Theoretically. Ah, uh, you remember the uh, remember this? Hey, look, it's a sewer lurker. That's a boss. Boss-type enemy, anyway. All right, so let's keep on going. I think we need to go back here. Oh, yeah, I leveled up. Five more points to spend. Uh, yeah, we'll throw it into intelligence for now. That'll be fine. So we opened that. We gotta head back this way. stuff and things. Where does this lead? Oh, this leads into the kitchen. Oh, sweet. Well, since we're here. Oh, wait. He's uh, not here because it's too late. As you can see, the enemies have spawned back. So it is kind of easy to, uh, you know, farm experience if you uh, need to. here because it's locked of course it's locked I click this. don't know what that led to actually I suppose we'll find out is there anything we needed to unlock this way
So you can die really quickly in this game, by the way. Um, let's actually put some into our endurance. That way. Oh, I didn't even didn't even confirm it. There we go. Oh, did I not even confirm the intelligence that I put in? Ah, <laughs> silly me. Uh, can we make it this way? Maybe. Looks like it's working. Okay, we figured it out. Way to go, us. We're the best. Sweet. Now we've got ourselves another ability coin. Nice. Up and down here. Okay, so let's see. We've got two ability points. We can get regen now. What about for destruction? Oh, we could get fireball. Hmm. Homing ice. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Kind of want to do a fireball because, I mean, it's a fireball. You know? Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Okay, so we can put that on, uh, I don't know. Circle. There we go. It's gonna be our R2 circle spell. I haven't used this yet, so it's kind of interesting to see how this is gonna work. Alright. Did this open? No? I don't know what that lever did when I pulled it. Mm, it's that way. I don't know what this lever did. Oh, well, screw that guy. We should probably use our abilities as much as possible to level up all our stuff. Hey, there we go. That did things. Seems like it auto casts to the enemies, which is kind of neat. Our mana regens pretty quickly, so not too worried about it. Oh, where are we? What do we have here? Cloth belt. Nice. And some money. Wonderful. We can give me that back. Ah. There we go. Alright. Now we can put that on. Okay. Sweet. Okay. That was it, huh? Just, uh, came in here and stole someone's stuff. Got it. So what am I looking at for... Oh, got a reward. Uh, these offer you a one-time bonus to whatever, uh, you want to put it in? Let's take, a uh, Intelligence? Sure. Why not? Uh, you can also sell these for a pretty decent amount, uh, which is something you could consider doing. This, uh, fireball spell is working out pretty well. <laughs> it's actually kind of cheap. I like it. Right. I suppose if we want to go fight the uh, sewer lurker, we'd have to go back to that other tunnel we were previously in. Which I suppose we could do. We do have to go turn in this quest, though. Body. Right. Yes, we found your special ingredients. Wow, you found the special ingredients. Thank you so much. What exactly are the special ingredients, and why were they in the sewer? How dare you ask? Well, if you must know. 
Special ingredients aren't actually ingredients at all. I cleverly disguise it as my adept craft ring. An adept craft ring? Why didn't you just tell me it was a ring? If I had told you the truth, then you might have ran away with it. But yes, my adept craft ring is my pride and joy and the reason why I can cook so well. It somehow makes me feel much more confident uh, cooking, which is why every good chef should have one. How can I get an adept craft ring? <laughs> Maybe one day you will find one, but you need to learn how to cook first. Here, as I promised, I will teach you a cooking recipe for helping me. This recipe teaches you how to make smelly broth, and I'll give you a few ingredients to make it, too. Head over to the back room and use the fry fire to try cooking your new recipe. Sweet. Alright, so the way cooking works is pretty simple. You uh, come over here, you grab your, uh, your recipe, you choose it, and then if you have the ingredients for it, it'll work. Let's uh, do that. You want to keep it in the middle? And failed. You're going to fail most of your attempts early on. Um, it's okay, though. Fail. You can also change the number. And then you'll cook it all in, like, a batch. We're not really going to be succeeding at any of these, so... Not, uh, too, not too worried about it. Hey, we got one. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Uh, that's for a quest, so we'll just hold on to that. But our cooking skill is now four, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't really have anything else. As you can see, there is a mastery thing here. Craft something 75 times, and then you will uh, you will master it. Which, I, I don't know what that means. You either get a bonus, or you can't fail at it. I don't know. But water is very important, because it's it's in use, it's used in a lot of uh, starting recipes, from what I've seen. So you want to definitely uh, take advantage of that. I'm just going to keep stealing everybody's everything. It's okay. We're going to put it to better use than them. We're gonna go down there and see about uh, see about messing with that uh, that sewer lurker. All right, first off, uh, how are we? Oh yeah, we got a uh, thing here. We'll uh, take that. Uh, where are we at for our destruction magic? We're at rank four, and we're at five for fire magic. Not too bad. I'm gonna need 25 in fire magic. Takes two coins to learn the next fireball. Uh, flare circle costs 20 in fire magic. All right, we'll uh, continue on this way. Right? No. Was the other way? No, it was not the other way. Where the heck was it? running around. Just keep running around. It's okay. Ow. It's okay. We regenerate fast enough. It won't be an issue. Come on, MP. There we go. Alright, so he's dead. This thing opened up. We get another ability point. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, three rewards. Wow, cool. That 4,000 experience crystal bean. 
Uh, Crystal Bean is an item that will revive you if you die. It's very useful. Uh, but I think I want the experience points. Uh, and we will take another intelligence scroll. Sweet. And we're almost level six. All right, so we have one point, five points to spend. I guess we'll just put that into intelligence, call it good there. And level six. Man, that's uh, almost cheating. <laughs> I guess we could go ahead and... There we go. Spread those out a little bit. Call it in. Alright, so we want to get out of here. We will get out of here. Uh, I suppose we should do his quest started up as well. Stock the tavern. Need someone who can cook to help me restock the tavern. Can you cook? Yes, I can cook. All right. Uh, yes. All right. We need ten smelly broth. All right. So uh, for that, we're gonna need a lot of carrots and a lot of water. And I mean a lot. Uh, we're not going to succeed at these very often. I mean, heck, the last time I was uh, trying out the recipe, I made one out of ten success or, uh, unsuccessful attempts. So, that's something, uh, something you're going to have to get used to. Get out of my way, Wolfen. Can't you see I'm busy? breaking stuff. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah. Oh. Bloner! Hey, you there. Before you head out, let's play a game of feud. I've played everyone in the village except you. Let's go! You don't have enough cards? Well, that's too bad. But I want to play so much, I'll give you some. Here, now let's play Feud. All right, this is the, <laughs> this is one of the mini games you can play in the game. It's a, uh, it's a card game. It's kind of neat. All right, so we have to pick cards for our deck. I have played this one time, so not super great, but that's fine. Uh, I'll take these and this one and this one and this one. It is not, you don't need to play this game if you don't want. So uh, the way it works is you are either trying to match the number of the card you're placing uh, with the value in the center or off to the sides. It'll make sense as we play. So he put down that little whatever the hell that is. It's got a one on top of it and a two on the side. So what I can do is I could play this one on the side and that'll flip his and I'll win that. Or I could place this one on top of it right there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is actually play this slime on here. So the goal is to, uh, well, have the most hands. Jerk. Okay. Uh, so he's got a one, a two, and a two. To put a two here on top of his and call it good. Uh, or he doesn't have any fives, so he can't put that on top of this one. But 
I don't know. I think I want to save that for later. Um, let's go ahead and put this one down here. Sweet. I don't know why he put that there, but okay. Alright, so we can match his one, or we can beat him with a three and up on the right-hand side of that card he just put down. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we want to match it on top, but we don't have any great matches, to be completely honest. Uh, maybe this one... He doesn't have anything higher than a 3 on there, so he can't match it to the right. Yeah, and he can't put a card down on the left side. He can only match it by putting something on top, which I can beat all of his for top, so we'll do that. Not the move I thought he was going to do. Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, no, that would be a bad idea. Uh, let's put this one or I could beat his by placing this, but I think I'd want to hold on to this though. I don't know. Let's just put this one does he have any two? He does have a two or higher. If I put this one here, he can't beat it unless he puts his rat down on the left side of it. If he puts his rat on the left side of it, then I can still beat that. Okay, I think we're okay here. Yeah, I was waiting. I was waiting for him to try to make a move on that, but he made a very bad move. Um... Uh, we don't really have any great wins here. Uh, I think I want to put this somewhere, but I don't know where I want to put it. He's got a 1 and a 2 for center. I also have a 1 and a 2. Hmm. We'll just put this here. Ooh, smooth moves, smooth moves. All right. Uh, I don't have a two that can beat the right-hand side, unfortunately. But I can beat the card that he puts down on the center. Mm. He got me with that one. put this one here, he can't do anything about it, so we'll just do that. Oh, what? Oh, he had elemental ways to beat me. Dang. Alright, uh... I mean, I only have one move, so... Draw. Wow. No. At least I didn't lose. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the card game you can play. It's, it's, it's alright for a simple little card game. Alright, so this is the overworld. Uh, if you guys want to take a look at the map, this is the map. It's actually really, really big. Like, really big. So, we can go ahead and do some exploring. Going around. Um... Freaking crap. I'm trying to take my head apart. Thinking we probably just want to head up to where we're supposed to be going for now. We can get a lot of experience and stuff going this way, so. Alright, 
Alright, so that lever opens this. We can fight some spiders. that gives skill experience gain. Okay. That's kind of cool, actually. We might actually use that. Yeah, let's take that and put that there. All right. So that should give us... Uh, should give us a little bit better uh, experience gain. Not like a whole lot or anything, but, you know, using basic stuff here, so it's not that big a deal. Another big rat. Another smaller rat. know if it's the dev's intentions, but magic is really, really powerful in the beginning of the game. I mean, granted, there are going to be some enemies that we fight that do have ranged abilities, but still. Alright. Fiswin! Halt! This gate is locked. You may not enter for loon. I have business here. Ginril sent me to see Esteli. Oh, you're the soldier they sent. Well, if that's true, maybe you can help me. You see, the truth is I've locked myself out and I'm too ashamed to shout for help. I'm supposed to be protecting this gate, you know? The amount of ridicule I'd get if they found out I locked myself out. How can we open the gate? Well, I can't really leave this station. But you can. <clears throat> the switch for the gate is on the other side, right there. Do, uh, do you see it? There's a secret entrance to the switch room. You can get there by entering loopy runes below and navigating through the caves to the other side. I... Go myself, but I can't leave. Honestly, I would do it. I'm, I'm not scared. I'll go through Luby Ruins and open the gate from the other side. Thank you. Alright, so, straight south here. Got bats and stuff to fight now. Mm, craft success rate up 1%. Nice. Ooh, they're heavy, heavy armor too, so that means we're going to start getting some experience for our heavy armor. Neat. <clears throat> Alright, I actually have four of these intelligence scrolls. I don't know if I'm going to sell those or not. I might. I haven't decided. I haven't decided yet. Wouldn't be that big a deal to... longer I'm gonna sit here and break everything but you want to break everything you can oh, wow, an enemy that didn't die from one fireball now we're getting to the big leagues baby I don't know if the type of item you break has any real significance with uh, what is inside of it, potentially, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, while I'm uh, here, we should uh, probably put this on something. There we go. That's a bandage. It'll stop bleeding, which we eventually we will get hit with bleeding. We 
really gone and explored to the left at all. We should probably go do that. Already been there. Alright. Anything special here? Spider leg, movement speed plus three percent. It's a relic. Neat. Alright, so did we get anything special? Look what's on these pants. Nothing? Nothing. We can't equip this relic though. Sweet. So we're a tiny bit faster now. Approximately three percent faster. How about that? So we can continue with what we were doing. We'll go down this way. Bunsies. Alright, we made it. So those spider legs can use those in crafting uh, potions, actually. It's pretty useful. Yeah, Easy seasoning small. That's for cooking. If that wasn't entirely uh, obvious. Fireball spell is a little powerful. <laughs> All right, need to find a lever for that door. Jail cells. How not ominous at all. Just kidding. It's very ominous. Snakes. Oh, the gator didn't get out. All right, pretty straightforward. And you're dead. Way to go. Look at us. Almost level seven. Amazing. Alright, but there is a thing I've got to do here. Heck yeah. Ability coin. I'm pretty sure that's one of the only reasons you come over here. There's more stuff to do over there, I just don't know how to unlock all that. Anyway, let's keep going. So we didn't. Okay, we didn't go this way yet. The lever in the prison unlocked this gate. So that's good. Uh, blue slime is taken care of. Need to find a lever for that. Spider. 
spider. Destroying these ruins. Take spiders. I'm really surprised the spiders don't have like a poison attribute. But that's fine. Just tried to kickflip me. Don't do that. Oh, what have we here? Cloth vest? We already have a cloth vest. Hey, I've got some cuffs. Heck yeah. Don't have any cuffs on. Place I've been already, but can't be too sure of that just yet. Ah, yes. Aha. Easy, relatively painless. How much money do we have? 1,800. Not a lot of money, but we will get more. We will get more. We're gonna need a lot of money to get our uh, creature taming and whatnot done. Those guys are dangerous. See that HP I just lost? <clears throat> that was from one enemy. Yeah, those uh, those little black or brown spiders, uh, they can pack a punch. You get a couple of those on you at once, they can destroy you real quick. Because unlike a lot of games, this doesn't have, like, iframes. Once you, uh take some hits, you're, uh, you're taking those hits. It's a real shame, actually. Alright, so we'll put that on. Look at that. We're looking pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Uh, right now we have the craft success rate on, but that's 
fine, I suppose. Need to get a better, better magic weapon. Wherever the heck that'll be. got me there at the end. <laughs> shield works out in this. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stick with what we're using right now. That's fine. Alright. We've got three ability points. <clears throat> I might want to get regen. <clears throat> Poison shard. I do like poison. Craftsman, permanently increase all crafting skills. Huh. Could be good. I think I'll hold on to it though. Call mount. Summon your mount to appear next to you. I don't have a mount. So that's not helpful at all. Alright, so this is 25 wisdom and you can get heal. Hmm. Or we can get regen. Probably having a healing spell would be a good idea. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But, uh... Yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the first episode. If you guys like this, uh, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I believe this game is only 16 bucks on PlayStation 4, so uh, if you liked what you saw... Feel free to pick it up. Anyway, I will catch you all later. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm going to keep...